Greetings to the Milpitas City Council members. Rich Tran, Carmen Montano, Evelyn Chua, Karina Dominguez, and Anthony Fan. Thank you so much for all the public service you are giving to the people in the community of Milpitas. I'm sure, like me, you value the American experiment of democracy. If you do, I hope you have some time right now to fight for our freedoms and ensure our people don't lose our liberty. What if you could take a simple action today to save democracy? I'm asking you to take a few minutes to help me make a much better world for all humanity. If you believe the path to peace is well, well worth taking, if you seek to bring an end to all wars on our planet in the next two decades, please take a few minutes to watch this video. I promise it will be well worth the time. The future of humanity may very well depend on what you decide to do now. April 28th is Holocaust Remembrance Day. It is a time to reflect on how millions of men, women, and children were murdered in death camps during World War II. It is a time to consider how we human beings can turn away from our good nature and follow a path of evil. It is also a time to ponder how we can prevent a similar evil from happening again to humanity. I want to ask you, leaders in Silicon Valley, to consider this simple question. If humanity can prevent another Holocaust from happening in our own time, what action would you take to save millions of lives? Do you have the courage it takes to stand up for humanity? Would you prevent another and far worse mass murder from happening in the next 15 to 20 years? My name is Marty Cheek. I'm the publisher of Morgan Hill Life and Gilroy Life newspapers. Recently, we invited a local rabbi to write a guest column on Holocaust Remembrance Day. We wanted him to focus on this year's commemoration and how it connects to the genocide now taking place in Ukraine. Vladimir Putin's war on Ukraine is a mass murder of innocent men, women, and children. Putin's war might very well serve as a start of a time of terror for humanity. As freedoms fall and democratic governments fail, we'll see tyrants rise in positions of power. And as painful as it is to consider, this may very well happen in our own homeland of America by the end of this decade. My grandparents were ordinary Germans during the time of the Holocaust. They secretly worked with another Lutheran couple to hide a Jewish family in a basement in Berlin. My mother was a child in that beautiful city during the 1930s. She witnessed firsthand the rise of fascism. And as a teenager, she experienced the devastation of war as night after night bombs fell on Berlin. During a visit to Berlin when I was about 10 years old, my mother told me about the horrors of war, describing how bombs and bullets kill ordinary citizens. As a child, I made her a promise. Someday, I said, I would find a way to end all wars, to make a world of peace for everyone. I've thought about that promise over the past four and a half decades. Despite what skeptics might think, Creating a world free of wars and other national conflicts is 100% possible in the 21st century. Here in the Silicon Valley, we have created the tools and innovations to achieve that miracle. As the world watches the horror of yet another genocide happening now in Ukraine, I invite you to be part of a movement to achieve global peace. The goal date for that achievement is Christmas Day in the year 2040. Will you help me and hopefully millions of other Americans make history? Will you help give the children of today a brighter and better tomorrow? If you care about your community, if you love our land of liberty, if you want to protect humanity, I encourage you to watch the second part of this video. You'll learn how you can be a part of something truly special, the Vision 2020 Global Peace Movement. Let's achieve world peace by Christmas day in the year 2040. Humanity is in trouble, big trouble. The world is in danger of a war that could bring an end to human existence. The Russian invasion of Ukraine may serve as a prelude for a global conflict of far greater magnitude than human history has ever seen. 
Sometime in the 2030s, the United States of America may go to war with the People's Republic of China. That's a very real and scary scenario. And it's one that can be avoided if the American people choose to stop fighting and start uniting for the purpose of peace. Peace is possible. If you truly care about this country, do your duty and be a hero for humanity. Let's take action now and support the Vision 2020 movement. Let's prevent the collapse of our democracy and the loss of our freedoms. My name is Marty Cheek. I'm the publisher of two community newspapers in Silicon Valley, Morgan Hill Life and Gilroy Life. I truly fear we Americans will see the end of our democracy by the end of this decade. If we lose our free press, we will lose our freedoms. And as an industry, the American free press is dying. The fall of the free press means the rise of tyranny. That's why I'm asking you and all the other elected officials in the United States to stand up for America's freedoms. Let's unite millions of men, women, and children to save our democracy. It's not too late, but we are running out of time to prevent the loss of our liberty. I am asking you as a leader to do three simple things. The first one is to take by the 4th of July, by this year's Independence Day holiday, a three minute survey. It will enable the public to know who among our leaders possesses the courage and the vision to publicly support 20 human benefit goals. There's simple objectives striving for a higher quality of life for all humanity. These goals will lead to achieving by December 25th in the year 2040, a true peace on earth and goodwill to humankind. Teaming together, let's give today's children the greatest Christmas gift ever, a global civilization where all humanity enjoys a world forever free of wars. The second action I'm asking our leaders to take is to show financial support for the Vision 2020 peace movement. If the human race is going to achieve global peace, this noble endeavor will require funding. To raise money for the movement, I wrote two books and self-published them on Amazon. They each cost $30. One is a nonfiction book titled Vision 2020, Be a Hero for Humanity. It explains why it is vital we start now along the path to peace. It describes how we can achieve global peace by using media to empower humanity to achieve the 20 golden goals. The other book is a work of fiction titled Humanity, a Vision 2020 novel. It tells the story of an ordinary man taking a journey through time and space and learning that we humans have a choice to make a choice between life and death, blessings and curses. The royalty money from each book, about $15 per book sold, will go to grow Life Media Group as a human benefit company. We believe our company can improve the quality of life for all people on our planet by developing media innovations. These innovations will transform news, marketing, education, and the arts and entertainment to create a more enlightened society a society where all politics, economics, and culture are not so divisive. The third action I'm asking America's leaders to take is to inspire their constituents and fellow leaders to support the Vision 2020 peace movement. They can do this through social media, email blasts, letters to the editor, and YouTube videos, among other communication. Once we reach 1 million Americans who actively support Vision 2020, members of the media will see this global peace movement as worthy of coverage. A movement that encourages hope for humanity will be a positive influence on our politics. My dream is Vision 2020 will bring unity to a deeply divided nation. No doubt, if we continue to be divided as a people, the next two election periods, this year and 2024, will be contentious. Let's learn a lesson from last year's attack on the U.S. Capitol building. The violence of January 6th warns us our political integrity as a democracy is now in peril. Our republic will not survive long if we let our division carry us to oblivion. If 1 million men, women, children support the Vision 2020 peace movement, through the power of hope, America will start healing. Elected officials, you have a moral decision you must make. You must choose life or choose death for Americans. If you love our land of liberty, be a hero for humanity. Do your duty to save democracy. Lead Americans in the fight for our freedoms. Support the Vision 2020 movement. Together, let us save humanity.